It has been quite some time Intel have been dominating in terms of laptop processors also in terms of desktop processors and yes most of you guys were going for Intel processors until AMD jumped into all of these and AMD started to develop themselves and build much more better energy efficient and powerful processors than Intel and finally AMD released their 5000 series processors a few days ago and these processors are a revolution in terms of desktop and laptop processors but yet there are only desktop processors available as of now 5000 series AMD laptop processors aren't out yet and yes the question arises again so if you are going to build a PC and you want to select between AMD 5000 series processor or you want to go with the latest 10th generation Intel processors so 10th generation desktop Intel processors are also pretty good so in this video, I'll be comparing these two processors. I'll be comparing the Intel Core i7 10th generation processor with that of AMD Ryzen 7 5800X processor. Hey guys, all about technology 24 into 7 here. Let's now get started. So this is gonna be a simple straightforward comparison and in very simple terms so that any of the customer who is looking to buy these products can get an idea about which processor to go with. So this is the i7-10700K chipset and it's built for desktop, the vertical segment is desktop here and this processor is a 8 core chip at 16 threads and the base frequency is 3.8 GHz and it can boost all the way up to 5.1 GHz, yes 5.1 GHz of max turbo boost frequency. So talking about the processor count on the AMD Ryzen 5800X processor this is also 8 core processor at 16 threads. The base frequency is 3.8 GHz and this can boost all the way up to 4.7 GHz max. Yes, the Intel was 5.1 but this is 4.7 max. So this is what it is. So talking about the onboard cache on the Intel Core i7 processor. So it has got 16 MB of Intel smart cache here and talking about the onboard cache on the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X processor. So it has got a total of 4 MB L2 cache and 32 MB of L3 cache. Yes. 32 MB of L3 cache and definitely talking about the onboard cache it's definitely better on the Ryzen 7 processor when we compare it with the Intel Core i7 and speaking about the FinFit process the Intel is built on 14 nm FinFit process i7 processor whereas the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X is built on 7 nm FinFit process literally half of the Intel which means the AMD chip will produce much more less thermals when we compare it with the Intel processor. And another thing to note about the AMD chip is that it is built on their new Zen 3 architecture. This is like improved architecture that AMD uses on their chips. So that's why the performance will also be much more better here when we compare it with the previous generation AMD processors. So speaking about the onboard graphics. AMD Ryzen 7 5800X says that it requires discrete graphics which means that you don't get onboard graphics on this chip. Yes, I couldn't find any information about onboard graphics on these processors. On the box, it clearly mentions you need discrete graphics. Whereas onboard graphic information is present on the Intel website. As you can see, the Intel Core i7 has got onboard graphics from Intel. This is the Intel UHD graphics here. And the max dynamic frequency is 1.2 GHz here. But nevertheless, people who are gonna buy these processors, they are definitely gonna buy discrete GPUs. Like in order to play games, in order to render videos, in order to do any kind of graphical task. Onboard graphics are not enough for most of the parts. So you need to buy a separate graphics. So that's what it is. So speaking about the security and reliability, we get top of the line security and reliability with both of these processors. So I'll not go in depth regarding any of those because both of the manufacturers offers you high end security and reliability with their processors. So talking about the most important part that is the pricing. So in India, the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 5th generation. So this processor is available at 40,699 rupees online as you can see. So I was redirected to this website from the AMD's official site and this is what the pricing goes 40,699. So talking about the Intel Core i7 10700K processor, this is the 10th generation processor. It's priced at 33,500 rupees in India. As you can see, this is on their official Intel website. Definitely, the price is higher for the AMD processor and whether this justifies. So in my opinion, yes, 
It does because you will get a lot of performance improvement when we talk about these two processors. As you can see from the graph here, this is the Cinebench R15 single core performance and here it is the MD Ryzen 7 5800X. It lands above the Intel Core i9-9900K processor. 257 on the single core is pretty damn good score I should say. Let us now compare a few of Geekbench results of these processors. Let me start off with the 5800X and here it is. These are the recent scores which have been uploaded on the Geekbench 5. So this is on a Asus motherboard, Asus system product name it says AMD Ryzen 7 5800X processor, single core 1704, multi core 10968. This is just incredible. This will differ from one motherboard to other motherboard and also one manufacturer of the motherboard and the PC because they might have reduced the voltage and they might have like used a little bit better cooling system like liquid cooling or air cooled so it will depend on all of these factors. So generally as you can see here are the benchmark results of these processors and I must say it's damn cool for the price and Definitely, it's gonna be better than the i7 for sure. Here are the results. Like most of the results are of 10,000 multi-core, 1,600 plus on the single core. It's amazing, I should say. So let me compare the benchmark results of the Intel Core i7 processor. So here are some of the results of 10700K. This is the i7 processor. And as you can see, first on the list, it says MicroStar International and the processor name i71700K. Here are the results. As you can see, the single core is pretty good, 1196, but still lower than the Ryzen 7. And multi-core score is like damn low, 6951 on the multi-core. And the second processor, as you can see, it says two cores here. So don't include these. It says two cores, that's why. So let me go for eight core. And here it is, the third on the list. It says iMac 20. And this is on Mac OS. It's got 8891 on the multi-core and 1241 on the single. The next on the list again, as you can see, iMac again, 7039, iMac again. So here are the subsequent results. Definitely, the Ryzen 7 processor is much better in terms of performance because of that Zen 3 architecture and all other improvements that AMD has done. So it's justified. So paying a little bit higher, you will give you much more better performance when we compare it with the less priced i7 processor that's the 10th generation 10700k so guys this was a quick little comparison of the intel core i7 10th gen versus the amd ryzen 7 5800x processor so that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this also do follow me on instagram link is in the description or it's appearing somewhere on the display this is all about technology 24 7 signing off for the moment you guys have a great day peace